Have you been wondering which exercises are best for ankylosing spondylitis or where to even start? Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa and this is gonna be the perfect class for you to get connected with your breath, gentle movements, and feeling better. All right, go grab your mats and let's do this. All right, let's come down onto our backs to get started. If you happen to have a pillow and wanted to put that behind your head and shoulders, that would be great. And if not, no worries. So we're gonna come all the way down to our backs. Knees are gonna be bent. And you're just gonna start to connect with your breath. We wanna make sure we're sending our breath out to the sides of our rib cage and it's not staying up in our chest. When we tend to be stressed or in pain, that breath comes up here and we're not able to use our core system effectively. So we're gonna take a couple gentle breaths, send your breath all the way down to those pelvic floor muscles and then exhale, bring it back up. Inhale, it goes down. Exhale, you're bringing it up and we're sending the breath out to the sides of your rib cage. So maybe you just place your hands at the bottom of your rib cage. I'm just taking a couple gentle breaths. Gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Nice. And we're gonna start to add a little bit of movement. We're just gonna start some rocking of our pelvis going forward. So think of kind of lifting your tailbone and then a gentle little tuck come underneath. And we just want our pelvis and our low back. So if you notice that your upper body is moving, try to keep that still. And we're just lifting the tailbone and then tucking the tailbone. Inhale, we're gonna lift. Exhale, little tuck. Inhale, lift and then that little tuck. And it's okay if it's not moving a lot. We're just starting to create a little bit of movements, noticing the control, if it feels shaky at all. If when we're exhaling and tucking, maybe we feel that lower abs kick on. Nice, gentle breath, rocking in and out. Awesome work. Use that breath. Now we're gonna add on here. The next time that you tip that pelvis forward, you're going to let the legs fall out to the side. Exhale, we'll bring it back up together and a little tuck of that pelvis. Inhale, open the knees, little arch. Exhale. Good, let the knees drop. Staying with that breath, breathing out to the sides. Maybe deep lower abs on your exhale. And just staying with your breath, listening to your body is so important with these movements. For three, two, nice work. Last one, good. Now we're gonna take your right ankle to your left knee and think of pushing that right knee down towards the edge of your mat. You're gonna bring that leg over towards the left hand side. Gentle reach, nice breath in. Maybe the arms are by your side, maybe they come up overhead. And then we'll bring them back up. Bring it over towards that left side again and it doesn't have to go very far just so you feel a little stretch in your back and your hip and then bring it back up and bring it over two more times. Nice. Staying in that rib cage breathing, bring that leg one more time over towards that left hand side. And then we're gonna bring it back up. If the arms are overhead, they can come back down by your side. Now you can stay here if this feels like a great stretch, or if you wanted to add on a little bit more, when you exhale, maybe you come up onto your left toes. Maybe you bring that knee in towards your chest. And then tap it back down. Inhale, exhale. Just a little bit more of a stretch in those hips. Exhale, good for three, two, Last one, good. Both feet come back down and then we'll just switch. So that left ankle comes to your right knee. That left knee is pushing down towards the bottom of your mat. Then we'll just gently let the legs rock over towards the right till you feel like, oh, that feels like a good stretch. Bring it back up. 
Bring it over towards that left, right hand side. Me and my left and right. <laughs> Bring it back up. Nice, gentle breaths. Bring it over to the side. And then back up. Good work. Two more times, drop it over. And then back up. Nice work. Last one. And then bring everything back up. Now you can hold here, or if you wanna keep working on pushing that left knee down, we can exhale, bring it in, and then tap it back down. Exhale, and then tap it back down. Use that breath. Three, two, exhale, bring it in. Last one. Nice work. Both feet come back down towards the ground. And then we'll just lengthen out through those legs. Let your legs roll out and then bring them back in. One more time, let those legs roll out and then back in. And then carefully walk those legs back up. We're gonna roll onto our side and just come onto your hands and knees. Pressing down into those hands, coming into tabletop position. We're gonna sink our hips, come back into a child's pose. So feeling a nice stretch in your back, press into those palms, nice gentle breath in. And on your next exhale, you're gonna pull yourself, come forward. Inhale, lift your tailbone, sink your chest, head comes up, you're nice and straight with those arms. Exhale, round it out, tuck your tailbone, pull your chin to your chest. And then keep sinking those hips back, come back, child's pose. Gently walk your hands over towards the right hand side. Reach through those left fingertips, nice gentle breath into the left side of your rib cage. Bring it back through towards center. On your next inhale, pull yourself, come forward. Exhale, round out, tuck your tailbone, pull your chin towards your chest. Inhale, lift your head, tailbone. Sink through the chest and then press it back. Exhale, child's pose. Those hands walk over towards the left hand side. Reach through those right fingertips. Feel a nice gentle stretch along that right side. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bring it back through towards center. Pull yourself, come up, We're pressing, round it out. Come into that cat pose. Lift your tailbone, sink your chest, head comes up. Good, press those hips back, walk those hands over towards the right hand side. Reach through those fingertips, nice, gentle breath in. Bring it back through towards center. Pull yourself, come back up. Round it out, tuck your tailbone. Lift your tailbone, sink the chest. Great work, press it back. Walk those hands over towards the left hand side. Reach through those fingertips, nice breath in. Bring it back through towards center. Pull yourself, come all the way back up, round it out. Lift that tailbone. Good. Bring it back through towards center. Now we're gonna take our right leg and just send your right leg straight back behind you. We're gonna bring the leg over towards the left hand side, curl those toes underneath and just turn to peek back at that leg. Breathe into the right side of your body. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, one more gentle breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Float that leg, lift it back up. And then we'll just switch the other side. Take your left leg, go straight back, reach through that heel, bring it over towards the right hand side. Curl those toes, turn and take a peek. Nice, gentle breath in. Maybe gently pressing those palms over towards the left hand side. Feel a stretch down there. Nice, gentle breath. Float that leg, lift it back up. 
And then we're gonna sink the hips, come back into that child's pose position, but we're gonna prop ourselves up onto our hands. So getting a little bit of mobility and movement through our mid back. Press into your right hand and you're gonna take your left arm and just sweep your left arm, come up. Your gaze can look up and it can also look down at the ground. And then sweep that hand back down. Press into the left arm, sweep that right arm up and then bring it back down. So you're just gently floating from one side to the next. Use your breath. Gently opening up for three, two, nice work, last one. Good. Pull yourself, come forward. And then let's come back down onto our backs. You're gonna bring your right knee in towards your chest and grab behind the back of that right leg. And you're gonna take your right leg, gently point the toes towards the sky. Feel a little pull, we don't want a big stretch. And then we're gonna bend our knee, pull the toes up towards you. Straighten the leg, point those toes. Bend your knee, pull your foot back up towards you. Just gently moving in and out. So this is a nerve glide. And if things feel really tight, it's a great way to help loosen up that tight feeling as well, kind of help calm down our nervous system. So that's why you don't want to feel like a ooh, really big stretch. You just go to feel a little pull and then you back off. It's kind of like floss. It goes back and forth, nice and smooth. We're going to do three, two, nice job. Last one. And then we'll switch. Right leg goes down, left leg comes in. Gently reach and point. And then bend your knee, pull that foot back towards you. Little straighten and point. Bend and pull back. Does one side feel a little different than the other side does? Good, for three, two, nice work, last one, good. Well, let's roll on to our right hand side. We're gonna bring those knees in towards our chest and I want you to think of kind of pinching those knees together. Both arms are gonna come straight out in front and you're gonna make a fist with the left arm on top and gently peel that left arm along the top and then reach back behind you. Ooh, nice big stretch. Now careful that the hips don't roll back because we wanna feel this in our mid back. So think of pinching those knees together. Bring it back to center. Make that fist peel it open again. Use your breath, reach back. And then we'll just do two more on this side. Follow your breath, nice, slow and controlled. Opening it up. Good. Use that breath. Nice job. Last one. And then we're gonna pause and just hold here. Keep pinching those knees together. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Take another nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Bring that arm back on top. And then you can just roll onto your back and we'll come on to that left hand side. Same thing, you want those knees pinching together, those arms straight out in front. We're gonna make a fist with that top hand, peel along that right arm, bend that leg back behind, and then bring it back in front. Keep the top hip rolled forward, ooh one side might feel a little different. And that's just what we're doing. We're observing our movements, what we're feeling as we move, how we can use our breath to just ease into things and not forcing anything. Gentle movements, three more times. Gentle movement, reaching back. 
Nice job. Good, one more time. And then we'll hold here. Nice, gentle breath in. And then exhale, you'll let it all go. Nice work, one more time, nice big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Bring that arm back on top and then we'll just roll onto our backs. Getting nice and heavy, the legs can stay bent. Maybe they go out straight. And just start to tap in. Notice the base of your skull against the mat. Maybe you gently rock your head to the right and to the left. Maybe you notice that mid back area down to your low back. What's going on with your hips, your thighs? Maybe you can take your toes and spread those toes apart, wiggle those toes. Maybe on your next inhale, you wanna take the arms and float those arms all the way up overhead, reach through those fingertips. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, one more time. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Those arms can come back down by your side. We'll just finish with a little breathing exercise. Keep checking in with how your body's feeling and melting and getting heavier. We're gonna inhale for a count of four, hold for three and exhale for four. On your next inhale, you have four, three, two, one. Hold, one, two, three. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. And just carefully bringing one leg in and then the next. Gently rolling onto your side. Press yourself, come all the way up to a comfortable seated position. Always remember that you can keep coming back to your breath, breathing out to the sides of your rib cage. Keep your neck and shoulders nice and soft, especially when you feel like you're getting stressed or tense, come back to the breath to help soften things. I'm gonna put down below in the description box more resources for you, other ways that we can work together. And I would love to know down below in the comments what you found helpful or what other videos you would love to see in the future. If you're new to the channel, Channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you thought this video was helpful go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it helps share it for other people looking for similar information let's take one last deep cleansing breath in exhale bring those hands down towards heart center thanking your bodies for all of its hard work until next time namaste